Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see what is the neural network. So previously we have talked about the deep learning and we discussed a term there, neural network. So this is what neural network look like in machine learnings and this is how the neurons look like in, in, in biology. Alright, so in a human brain there are billions of the neurons. So one neuron is represented something like this. And the analogy of neural network is taken from the human brain there or a nervous system. So from nervous system, these kind of things comes to real life. When we use deep learning models, so these are inspired by the nervous system or a neurons which is in our brain. So now you see in a neuron how this works in our brain. There are a nucleus in neuron and these are the dendrites. And these dendrites are connected with the axon terminal. But don't worry, you see their dendrites are here and the axon terminals are here. How they are connected? It is actually the sequence of the neurons. So if you connect there another neuron, so this axon passes the signal to the dendrite. So this is connected to the next level of the neurons. And the signal which you are seeing there, in fact, uh, these pipe things which you are seeing, this is actually the exon. So this exon passes the signal from the nucleus to the exon terminal and then this exon terminal passes the signal to the next neurons which is connected with the exon and the dendrites. And in between there are a lot of the process happens to the electrochemical signal there. So all these signal processing happens in between these. So the same kind of things we can understand here. You have here the input, so these single nodes which you are seeing, this is suppose that the input, it's like what our eyes are seeing there or what we are thinking. So what is the going, what, what is the input going to these neurons? So these you can think of as the input and these as the neurons. So you see there, if there is neuron, so these neuron is actually kind of these things. And these lines which you are seeing, this is passing a signal from one neuron to the another neuron here. Now as you see there, these exon terminal can be connected to the multiple neurons dendrites. That means a single neural network, symbol, single neural network unit can be connected to the multiple units. So the same thing can be done here. That's how our brain processes the signal. So when we replicate our brain, brain processing system, that the neuron system in our real life, that becomes a neural network. So this is made by the human outside of the brain. That is why it is known as artificial. So this is how artificial neural network is made there. So these neural networks are consist of the layers. So these are the layer there. So the first layer is called as the input layer. These layers are ca called as the hidden layer and the, this layer is called as the output layer. This is very simplest form of the neural network. This is also called as the multi-layer or the perceptron here or you can say the fully connected neural network. Don't worry about that again these terms in the coming lectures and the sections we will be covering these things in the details. As of now, you just remember there, fully connected neural network, multi-layer perceptron, perceptron, just remember these things. In coming lectures, we will be covering these one by one there. And other than this, this neural network also uses activation function. So like if we pass a signal directly from here to here, there is no processing. So what happens in between these input to output, there is kind of the transformation happens. So that transformation is being done by the activation function. So the same thing happens with our artificial neural network where we apply activation function which converts or which changes a linear model into a non-linear model. So this non-linear model will be able to interpret a complex data more efficiently. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. I'll see you next one.